Okay, let's get this camera straight. Oh my gosh. Um, I think that that should do the trick. Um, for what it's worth, we're back in the podcast light, back in the podcast game. It seems like the camera's a little bit zoomed in. I would like it to be a little bit further back, but for what it's worth, uh, maybe I should just try moving the camera. Okay, uh, well, that, that should suffice for now. For what, what it's worth, um... You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful time, a grand, grand time when you can literally record so and do so much with your smartphone device. Oh my gosh, your smartphone device is literally can be a tool. This is being recorded with a, pod, um, a podcast with, with my actual smartphone device, you know, so that's really what's amazing about life. Um, and it also, there's no external microphone or the likes, it's just a phone microphone. So if it sounds good, if it sounds player... And uh, cheers to Samsung, cheers to iPhone or the likes, you know, so for what it's worth. Um, and what did the mouse do is just that, and that is, um, you know, I, w- I wanted to get in depth into a concept, you know, because I've been doing some thinking in the likes. And literally what it amounts to is just that, and that is, um, you know, sometimes, um, you know, life life can be a doozy, you know. Life can be, really be a doozy, and even people... Just just to emphasize the, the actual idealism of what I'm trying to suggest is just that even people from different demographics, there's people from um, there's people from 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 lower spectrum, uh, you know, pay grades and the likes that are happier than someone from um, who's accomplished so much and did so, so much. And, and at times this can be DNA. Um, sometimes this can be perspective and sometimes this can be environmental factors, you know, that causes depression and the likes and and life can 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 cause you know depression is rampant these days amongst amongst college students amongst um many especially in america america is just not seeming as happy as it once did you know and there, there's lots of countries that are happier and, and more healthful and the likes than america you know so um keep that in perspective and, and just keep it all in perspective but for 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 what i wanted to emphasize back to the original principal point and that just is um, Anthony Bourdain, you know, a figure that was loved by so, so many in the likes. I think this was worth dwelling on in the likes, you know, taking his own life. And according to what I've heard and what's been elaborated to me, I haven't read any research or anything on the um, on the root cause or if it's um, actually factual. But for what's been um, elaborated to me and what I've seen maybe on a pop up on the Web when I'm searching the Web and the likes. It's just that Anthony Bourdain actually took his own life, and I think uh, you know, you know, regardless regardless of what 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 the scenario is, I don't know the root cause of the of the depression or the likes or just the the insanity behind it or the mental stability behind it. But what it amounts to is just that it goes to show that people from all different demographics can be really depressed, and you know, sometimes they're just not as happy as they aspire to be. You know, um, so I think that's very very true. And what it amounts to is just that, and that is. Um, you know, another principal point I wanted to emphasize about suicide and the likes, I think it can be very, very self selfish. You know, it can you know at the same time you can't you can never dwell with what which how much weight is on the the backs of some uh, a particular figure, especially when they're the light, it just blows it um out of proportion and magnifies everything, and especially money. They suggest money doesn't change who you are necessarily. Um it may change you a little bit, but not as much as it magnifies who you actually are. You know, and the likes. That's just been elaborated to me. So we all need to be careful in what we we, we, we actually desire in life and what we want out of life. And actually uh, write down some goals and keep it all in perspective and keep it all kosher as possible. You know what I mean? And at the same token, what it amounts to is, uh, you know, I think, I think you know, suicide and the likes can be a bit of a cop-out. Because like, according to what I've heard, you know, this is just a testimonial testimonials against uh, uh for for literally what's been uh shared shared with me and that just is um anthony Bourdain had a daughter in the likes you know so like she uh, obviously now has to grow up with the fact that her father committed suicide you know in the likes um which is not you know the most you know i mean you know in a, in a weird way, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a terrible, terrible story, you know, it's because she has to grow up with fatherless now, and I don't know what age she is, maybe she's 13, maybe she's older, maybe, I don't know, like, maybe she's young, maybe she's six years old, I have no, no, no damn clue, um, but for, for what it's worth, it literally amounts to, um, you know, it's a little bit of a cop-out, you know, just like, you know, you're, you might be innocent of a crime, but at the same token, if they offer you the opportunity to dismiss the crime or the likes, um, sometimes, you know, you're just tired of fighting, you know, you, everybody gets, you know, exhaustion and the likes and you just, you just cop out and, you know, uh, 
that's how I relate. And that's maybe a piss poor analogy for um, suicide and the likes. But I think I think you got to realize how, how you affect other people and the likes. You know what I mean? So I, I think it's 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 obviously very, very um, imperative that we, we keep it all in perspective. You know, and just think about that half the battle is just how you look at life and perceive it. Because this morning, oh my gosh, you should have seen me. I literally was just um, so, so uh, pessimistic, angry, trying to fist fight everybody, you know. Not really necessarily, but just at the same token, uh, you know, just, just having the wrong outlook on life. And half of what something is is how you look at it. As I've written and iterated in several blog um, blog posts on intellectualbossmoves.com. So go ahead and check out intellectualbossmoves.com forward slash blog. I think that is. And um, check out some of the writings. And I might even get into some writings tonight. But of course, at times, you got to read. Um, and I'm about to do some reading. So what, what, what's, what's lamer? Or maybe what's cooler? You know, it depends on how you visualize it, how you view it. Then I'm doing about, you know, a couple hours of reading on a, I think, let me see, I think my watch is telling me it's Friday, so Friday night, and you know, you could be up to so much ruckus, so much wildness and the likes, which is cool, cool, cool at times, you know, and a lot of fun, it could take you even further than, uh, you know, just pure, pure, um, um, well, I mean, obviously, I think I, I'm an advocate of putting in work and the likes, but same token, I think there's a time for playing hard and a time for having fun. And hopefully you can manage um, and balance, as in the Libra scale, as I, I can I have come accustomed to, balance and do both. <laughs> Mind fucking blown, baby. Mind fucking blown. And I think that's really where the value comes in and where the value lies. You know, it's just in balance in life. Um, and realizing that sometimes life is about perspective, back to the principal point, and that just is, um, as I elaborated, life is what you make it to be. You get in what you put out. Or you, you, you put... You put out what you get in, and you get out what you put in. Put in, you know. So it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a conundrum, right? But it's so so true, so so to be emphasized. I mean, I'm feeling really good and like I, I just slept for like literally like eight hours. I think like I I wasn't timing it. Maybe that's an exaggeration. I exaggerate at times. Um, but it was a good, like you know, four hours at least, or three hours. You know, just just a nap for three hours. That's not much of a power nap. That's a little bit more like a slumber. You know, I'm not sure the technical def- definitions of these these um, <laughs> these phrases, but more more like a, a a light light slumber. Four four to six hours is a light light slumber on top of the, the rest you got the night before. You know, but sometimes it's what's necessary when you've been just going a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent for what you're capable of accomplishing. And you're, maybe your hundred ten percent is a lot lesser than someone else's hundred ten percent. But as long as it's like you know, no one can tell you that you're not working your hardest. Um, when your your body just has fatigue and the likes, and everybody fatigues and the likes, you know. So, I think that's the main principal points I wanted to share with you, and that's that's eight minutes and running. But again, back to the to the podcast light. Um, sometimes you want to have the perfect lighting for your podcasting, and also you want to have um, maybe a smartphone device where you can podcast on the go, you know, and the likes, and maybe even an external lavier microphone that plugs in and it can kind of clip onto your shirt and that might even increase the audio uh potential even trifold you know so that's very very cool and i've tried i'm using that usb um microphone connect to connect my my blue yeti um to my to my to my cell phone device but at the same token it's it's not like the same as connecting to a computer i'm um, in the sense that it doesn't have the the um the gauges to to turn down the gain and to turn up the gain and it seems like the gain on the the Blue Yeti didn't really rectify the situation as far as where I turn the gain up and it doesn't mess with the volume. I turn the gain down and it doesn't decrease the volume. It's just all distorted. So I think sometimes you're better off with just um, the audio from your device. And sometimes it's about the content and sometimes it's about the quality too, though, you know? Because no one wants to hear the best quality content. I'm talking earth-shattering, profound, profound um, content when it's just all distorted and, and, and just a disgrace, a, dis- a disgrace to the human race, man. So that, that's that's not what we want to do. That's not what we want to accomplish. So I think um, we'll, I'll, I'll suffice with the Lavier microphone that clips onto your shirt, or also just the um, what you know suffice with what what you got. Sometimes you got to make do with what you got. You might not have it all, but at the same token, uh, you can build a lot out of a little if you use your ingenuity, if you use your mind, you know. 
So, so that's where the value um, lies. That's where the value comes from. And uh, I think it's all all good, you know. And I'm about to do some reading in the likes. Um, so it's Friday night doing some reading. Oh, my gosh. Do I do I have oh, – is it, is it like this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, no. I think it's all good. It's all about perspective. And I got my teeth cleaned today. They look whiter. I haven't been using a whitening kit, but they did a really good job. But I was in such a uh, – uh, um, a terrible, terrible uh, uh, mind frame. Sometimes it's all about perspective. I was trying to fist fight everybody, you know? So, we, we're, you know, we got to keep it kosher, man, and just realize that it's all good. Not everybody's going to, you know, and it's been as, uh, accentuated several, several times throughout history. No matter how real you are, no matter how genuine you are, no matter how kind you are, no matter how nice you are, no matter how much good you may do, um, regardless of how much you may turn the cheek or the other, other type of philosophies that are, you know, were, were, were com confined by Jesus and the likes or any other, um, you know, profound, profound, peaceful, peaceful religion or the likes. Um, you know, you, it's like nearly impossible to get every single person to respect it. You know, it's just, it's just like, that's just the way the game goes. You know, like, no matter how real, no matter how nice, no matter how kind, no matter how generous, um, you're always going to, you know, step on someone's toes. And it's just the way of the world, man. It sometimes drives me bonkers, baby. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. Poosh, mind blown. So you can't get everybody to respect it, but at the same token, you got to have your conglomerate, your cult following, and your uh, your crew, your 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 clique, your familia to uh, totally respect it. Um, and that's that's all you need, man. Maybe, maybe that is all we need. You know, it's just that you get respect. You have respect for yourself. You hold the fort down and you totally, totally, uh, you know, realize that you can't please everybody, you know, someone's got to be pissed off, you know, and, and, you know, I don't want it to be me, man. So, <laughs> you know, so, you know, um, I might step on some toes, but for what it's worth, I'm going to try to be as, as kind hearted and, and sincere and, um, peaceful as possible, you know, so. Uh, I think that's all for now. So I appreciate you checking in. And, and at times we have to be thankful for blessings. I'm thankful for the helping hand. And also I realize that, you know, um, we're just getting better still, baby. So, again, this is a podcast recorded via my smartphone device. <laughs> mind shattering, mind blown, mind blowing. And at the same token, it's just the 21st century at its fucking finest. So my screen is fixed now. Um, oh, 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 one last sentiment I wanted to share. This came to me spur of the moment, just last second. And that literally is, um, you know, I have a question for you. It's a query. So leave a, leave a, a question or um, a comment below. And if this is on YouTube and I'm transferring all my data um, with pictures and the likes. Sound, uh, uh, I'm, I'm stripping all, I, all the videos are going to YouTube and also all the uh, SoundCloud recordings. I'm done with SoundCloud. I'm retiring off SoundCloud. So, um, you can keep following me there, but I'm probably not going to be do, doing too, too much more posting on SoundCloud. The platform just seems a little bit irrelevant. They're not keeping up with the times. They're trying to monetize the channel too, too much. And it's not giving you the, 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 the real, real gain, you know, in the likes. It gives you some, some, you know, there's been a lot of people like Russ and the likes that came up of a SoundCloud, but you know, nonetheless, I think, you know, it can be a disgrace too, you know, so. Um, if it's not keeping up with the times, you got to move on, you know, and move to a platform that is. So I think YouTube is where it's at. Even though it's saturated, even though it's inundated with content and the likes, developing a following on there and having your podcast, even though it's with a still picture and then the words playing in the background and uh, people vibing with that and also uh, video vlogging as in this and higher definition too um, with the right camera setups and the right lighting once you get – once you come accustomed to like, so let's see. No, that's too, I think that's too dark, but for, for what it's worth, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is just some generic light bulb. This is some hood, hood stuff. But okay, back to the subject, and that just is, um, do you think tempered hood glass from the homies at the mall, you know, where they're like, they got their trench coat on, and they're just open up their trench coat like this, one side, and then the other side, and then they're just like, what you need, partner? <laughs> you know, that, that type of environment, but they're very professional in the likes, you know, so they're like, 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 what you need, man? And then they, you're like, I need some tempered glass for my, my smartphone device because it keeps shattering. Not because I keep dropping it abruptly, but because, um, it's just made that sensitive. It's made to break, you know? So the same token, I have some tempered glass that I got for the discounted price. It's some hood, hood shit, but 
it seems like I can't text on there and get it, get the text to go through, like, you know, or like, even though I'm Google searching something, you know, it just like, it's just, it just doesn't, it doesn't rectify the punches, you know, like I punch A, I gotta punch like three times to, to get the A to, to, to like be accounted for. So I don't know if the, the, the actual $100 tempered glass or $50 tempered glass is much more sensitive where, it, it, you know, you can type through it or if it's always just like to protect your phone and you got to pop it off sometimes when you're trying to do some heavy duty um, blog writing on your phone or some heavy duty texting without tons and tons of errors um, or the likes, you know, so leave a comment below and I can really use your feedback because I'm learning still too, but it's nothing that I can't just Google search, but sometimes I like to include, be inclusive of you into the conversation and the like, so it's not just me up here blabbergasting, you know what I mean? So, um, for what's worth, we'll, we'll talk very, very soon. I appreciate you checking in to, I mean, what, what might be accounted for as intellectual conversation with Gabriel, um, go ahead and follow the YouTube channel, Gabriel Griffin. Um, and just realize that, um, I need you, you need me, and that's that's uh, the beauty of symbiotic relationships. Woo! So I'm acting very, very silly, but nonetheless, I'm feeling very, very good, and I'm going to do some reading and, of course, uh, get smarter, get richer, and live a fuller, more rich, um, and more fulfilling life overall. So that was a little bit uh, butchered, but nonetheless, um, very, very true, as I've said elaborated and iterated several several times so again this is gabriel griffin from gabriel griffin on youtube and also from gabrielgriffin.com and also from intellectualbossmoves.com where i write and uh, about my my wins losses and motherfucking draws baby motherfucking draws you know so um it's just an uphill battle you know and you know no matter how i think the most principal point of tonight was literally just that no matter how real you are no matter how no matter how many how generous you are or the likes, you know, you, it's it's impossible to get everybody to respect it. So just fuck with your camp and, and develop a team, a familia that can uh, hold you down. And of course, uh, just go hard in the motherfucking paint. And uh, I think that's what's going to take you the farthest. So again, until next time, intellectual conversation with Gabriel. Let's live richer, fuller, more prosperous, and more fulfilling lives. And we'll talk very, very soon. Okay, thank you again. Cheers till next time. Peace.